I doubt that. Tell her about us last year. Last year, I did an exhibition titled She Made Me Do It. She Made Me Do It. And I exhibited 10 photos, and these photos were shot at the seaside. You, you are a fine fisherman. In this episode, I want to break down one of those photos the shape shifter. How the concept came about, the equipment I used in shooting, and how did everything pan out that day for me. Let's get into it. As a photographer, before I set off to go and shoot anything, I'm open minded about inspirations i feel at any point in time that i'm shooting at a location inspirations can just suddenly happen so with this particular image that was the beginning of the shape shifter it wasn't planned in my studio it just happened on set so i had a conversation with my model that they called prosper and i said prosper let's create something from this image let's create something from this particular structure with you included and the magic happened. So the location for this particular structure is at Osu, the Osu Castle, formerly known as the Christian Ball Castle. Uh, this structure was built by the Danish and Norwegians who came to our shores in 1660. Yes, way back 1660. And they built this particular structure. And the lighting I used that day was the natural light. It was a sunny Sunday and I felt I didn't need any reflector I didn't need any flash, I needed to use the sun. And I know that most photographers, aspiring photographers and even pro photographers don't love to use direct sun to shoot. They always want to filter the sun to have less harshness on the subject. But I felt within that I needed the harshness of the sun to accomplish what I needed to do. And beforehand, I knew I'd be editing in black and white and the harshness on the subject was going to draw more engagement to the subject to the model and that was the reason why i use the natural sun so the composition that was where the whole magic happened with the composition because i needed to put the model and the subject in the same frame but i didn't want the model to cover the whole subject the structure and that was something that i felt okay using lines so leading lines Every photographer or aspiring photographer will know leading lines. So leading line will lead your eyes to a subject and it makes it makes your eyes engaging to the particular subject. So I wanted people to look at the structure and also look at the model. So I employed the idea of leading lines. So you can read more about leading lines to also create more magic with your photography when you see leading lines. So the equipment I use in shooting this particular image was my Fiji SD3. And my Vetros 85mm 1.8 lens, a close-up lens. And I also had a tripod. The tripod held the camera firm to the ground because the seaside is quite windy, usually. So those are the three things I use in shooting this particular image. Guys, if you want to purchase any frame size of this image, kindly inbox me. Thank you. Thanks for sticking around. I've come to the end of this video. Kindly subscribe, comment, and like. Let me know what you thought about the photo. I want to know your thoughts on this photo. And anything that I might have missed, kindly share it in the comment section. I want to learn from you too. Catch you next time on another photo.